E. Time for a quick catch up. Yeah, it's it's gonna be quick, hopefully, because I honestly have had so much stuff that I could be talking about since the last time I did one of these. And yeah, yeah, it's time to take a little slice out of what I have got that I could be showing you, just because I don't want to try and cram it all in one video, basically. So yes, we're going to be focusing on whatever AOE figures I've got that I have yet to parade in front of a camera. And to be honest, it's not a lot. I probably would have been thinking before that there would have been a chance that I'd have quite a bit more from the Age of Extinction line at this point in time than I actually do, but it just kind of like, I don't know, it's just become dead. I don't really care that much about any of it at the moment, and it's like, the only really interesting things are like some of the more obscure, like one steppers or power battlers, because they're ones that aren't in the film or something, that's the only things that are really getting me mildly excited for Age of Extinction anymore because it's just like oh, I could be going and getting all the generations ones like Hound and that but it's just too much hassle and I can't be bothered and I'd rather be buying proper generation stuff so so get me wrong there's still stuff I want to get but it's really not high up in the priority list anyway let's crack on with something you might have seen in like the third ago video I did the scavenger Halloween thing I had this all the way back then at the back end of October and it's going to be December tomorrow so yeah I've held off a bit of a while showing you one step Galvatron it's 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 a beefy truck I like it it's shiny it's actually really quite hefty and big for a little one step thing and that's about the best thing about it yeah after getting that one step lockdown, I was a bit like, oh, actually, this is actually rather good. I shall continue to go down the path of one step re and it's, it's the two I've got here to show you. Just, just, they're not that good. I wouldn't recommend them, but maybe, as you could say with every one step figure, if you want a little desk toy version of that thing, then why not go for it? But yeah, Galvatron, he's a you know, hefty truck, almost the same size as the Evasion Mode Optimus in this mode. And you put on this black lever here, not this top bit that folds in for absolutely no reason. Why does it do this? What is this? Why does that happen? Anyway, you put on that and you twist it all around the right way and he's a robot. That's quite clever actually, I quite like that. Loads of stuff moves at once and it's just like a really easy fluid motion if you have the sort of manual dexterity to push something down and push something else at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's alright isn't it? It's quite clever. His head pops up, his legs come apart, the arms spin round and they only move like that. Yeah, robot mode is where everything falls down because look at him. He, he's a bit of a wide boy. He is properly like thick and he has tiny little weedy arms and the proportions are bad and he looks well flat because well he is look yeah not really the same sort of level of astounding detail and shiny paint that lockdown had so it's a bit like mm, it's all right but uh, I'd, I'd like to see what else they do with this whole transformation scheme though what other kind of dudes they could get out of something that works like that it's pretty clever and i'm very aware that with the kind of lighting I've got and the resolution that you're looking at me in, you probably won't be able to see what's going on with this. It's always a bit of a blur. It's all like, oh, it's a truck now, it's a robot. Oh, magic. But yeah, if you want something solid that you could probably knock someone out with if you threw it at them, buy Galvatron. If you don't want something solid and you want something really insubstantial and feels that you could crush in your grip, uh, then go buy Bumblebee. Yeah, why did I do this? Why, why do I own this? Uh, Basically, it was a bit of a sort of all aboard the hype train for two minutes because it was like Galvatron's wave has come out and then, well, I know this B isn't in the same way, but it was like suddenly there are loads more one-steppers than the first wave everywhere. And I was just like, oh, which ones do I get? I've got to get some. Um, and for some reason I chose this one. Why did I choose this one? I have to admit, the transformation scheme is more involved than any of the others. He does wind up with more articulation than any of the others, but at the same time, it's just rubbish. The car mode is kind of okay. I like the shiny blue paint on the windows, but apart from that and the black stripe up here and the stupidly massive symbol, 
That's all the paint you get. There's no lights. Not even the grill. Not even the Chevy badge that is always painted on everything because GM, GM, GM. That's, no, you don't get anything. Nothing. It's just a horrible, rattly, yellow lump of quite sort of not very nice plastic. And then you go to transform it and <laughs> one step my ass. I have no idea how it's supposed to work. I've got a way that it does work. Um, but when I got this out of the box, it was like, I've got no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Basically, as far as I can tell, it seems like you're supposed to move that back and that and then releases a catch that lets it transform, but it doesn't. You push the windscreen back and then you've got to get your finger in there and put on something and then boom, he constantines up into a robot and then you've got to fold his arms out, fold his hands out. And that's not one step, that's like four. Uh, and then you're left with this. Uh, for a start, he looks really tall and just too long and torso being made out of this bit of the car. That doesn't look right either. He just looks wrong. There is a, a, an amount of detail going on here. They've sculpted the insides of these wheels, sort of like those funny pentagram things that he has hanging off him and the face is okay, even if it looks like he's sort of staring into infinity. Uh, I don't know what to think about this, but it doesn't really feel good to own. Yeah, don't, don't go by Bumblebee, because, oh dear, I mean, he's made entirely out of the same colour of yellow plastic, entirely, apart from like the wheels, and it just feels cheap because it's that kind of shade of yellow and that glossy sheen. Something about it just feels bad and well, it's not actually put together bad and it's quite clever. Uh, I just don't like it, so meh. But you can do this and this and that and this. So I suppose that really means he's got a few points of articulation, like a bicep swivel and stuff. That doesn't redeem it. it doesn't redeem you. Moving on to things which are relatively more decent. I have got another of the generations, whatever, I just, I just prefer just to call them deluxe. Here we go, guys. Oh, I've got a lockdown, yes, yes. Um, a bit lukewarm is how I feel about this figure. I like it, yeah, it's got good detail. It kind of looks like lockdown. I've got to say, the first thing you see when you look at this robot mode, is that, well, he looks too wide, doesn't he? The torso is just too wide and too short and his legs are actually really short and the proportions don't quite cut the right figure that you see in the film with all that menacing swagger and that kind of oh, black ops guy look, I don't know what that was, but he doesn't really come across anything like that. He's got all the detail you need there, even the Lambo badge split in half on his chest, there's tiny little bits of gold in there for that. but. Ah, man, it's just, it feels like they should have done something better, and they could have done something better. He's decently poseable, it's nice that his feet do that for some reason, I like that, and you know, it, he's got the range of articulation that you would normally find on a deluxe figure these days, because of course that means they won't have wrists. Yeah, his arms are 2D, basically, They're just the doors, and he's got hands sculpted in, and for some reason they've made a point of like highlighting this circle when there's a screw through it as if that's a detail thing and it really shouldn't be. And I don't know what to think about this guy. I do kind of like him just because it's nice to have a decent figure of lockdown from the film and his face sculpt is really intricate and it might have used a little bit more paint. I did want to get a Dakar on one I have to say because the head on that looked a lot better. He actually has green eyes and they've painted more bits of his nod in so it looks better. It doesn't just look like this sort of balding bloke that this one looks like. Yeah, it's odd. I mean, in the film, you're very aware that he's got a very humanoid face and it kind of worked and that was cool. He looked menacing and I don't know, there was some quality about him that I really liked on screen. You translate that down into this thing and it just looks doofy and weird and it really does look like some sort of Dishevelled mime is how I would describe Lockdown's face. 
but he's shiny and he's got a few good paint apps and nice detail and you can go and stick the big gun on his head and give him his gun face and that's a nice touch and that's cool and it's a, a semi-decent way to display him because otherwise you've got to have this massive big thing just stuck in one of his hands and eh, you know it's a bit more unique having it stuck on his head and it also covers up his weird features and of course there's his alt mode which is that lovely lamborghini thing and i was really up for having a proper official lambo transformer and it just feels lacking it's too soft around the edges it doesn't look mental enough it's just like i don't know it's almost in squidgified but maybe that's because i've spent so long looking at the one step one that isn't the real lambo and that is like turned up to 11 with mental angles and rage upon it so i look at the real thing and just go i think i prefer the one step one because that looks like a properly mental car and while well, the real car is probably mental looking this doesn't really carry that over enough. It just feels a little bit too smoothed out. It's not quite the level of detail that you get on the one step one, which is, that's not a good sign, is it? This is meant to be the proper high end version of lockdown and it doesn't really feel that much when it's the car it's supposed to look like. But at least you get all the lights painted, I suppose. Oh, and if there's something else to say about it, he literally copies Roadbusters transformation from Dark of the Moon. It's the entire same ordeal, well nearly, um, and it just kind of feels like, hmm, it's kind of cool to see that again in a way that works a bit more solidly, but uh, it just smacks of lack of imagination because they looked at the on-screen model and thought, I've got no idea how this is going to work. Let's just try out an old transformation scheme again. But there's lockdown, he's okay. It's definitely not great and it just seems too wide and too short and has none of that kind of I want to say Jason Statham swagger that he did on screen and there you go and when the figure feels lacking for having the proper official alt mode rather than something a bit more interesting then you know something's gone wrong somewhere uh, so that's a lot for now I better get back to work <laughs> slaving away slaving away tune in next time when I can show you more interesting things like this bloke too low.